Hey everyone, welcome back to next tutorial in Madlux FX. In today's tutorial, okay, so this is not a tutorial. In this video, I'm going to experiment Mocha's new 3D camera tracker in various footages and show you the exact result which I am getting live in the recording. And I hope you already watched my last tutorial about the same. I received some excellent feedbacks about the tutorial. So thank you for watching that and supporting my channel. First of all, we just need to create a new project. Go to file, new project, choose. Everything looks okay to me. Click on okay here. So let's do a quick playback and see definitely it looks like a very easy shot but let's test it out with mocha go to camera solve tab click on solve the solve error is 0.65 the first thing which you can see here the grid placement is wrong so i'm gonna choose few points over here maybe this one click on align to ground now if i do a quick playback you can see Maybe I'll just rotate the grid a little bit. Just select the scene transform. Maybe rotate it a little bit this side. Now let's play and check. It looks like the track is not that great. You can see the edge is shifting a little bit this side. Obviously we can alter these properties to get a better track. But in this shot, I think the camera solve is not that great. Even though the average error value is below one. So I'm going to treat mm -hmm. this as a failure. Let's go to the next shot. Let's do a playback. It's kind of a zoom in shot, I would say. So definitely you can use this options, but I'm not going to try that. The only thing which I'm going to try is masking out this. It looks like a pigeon or maybe a seagull. In any case, I'm going to do a mask for all these moving objects. So I'm going to do that quickly. I'm just going to draw a shape over here like this and hopefully this covers entire area of water and it does so now let's go back to the camera salt tab make sure you have selected the mask icon for both these layers let's do a quick camera salt looks like all the points are perfectly aligned even though the points looks great grid is shivering a lot which means tracking failed. If you see the average error, it's awesome. But I'm not sure what's happening, why the grid is shaking this much. I'm just wondering if I can turn on this option and see if it helps. Let's clear the solve. Let's click this button again. Not sure why this is happening. If anyone knows, please comment it down. What am I doing wrong here? For me, everything looks perfect, but the grid is moving a lot. You can see the average error value is great. I'll select these three points and click on align to ground. This definitely works. I don't know why initially the grid was not perfect. I can see some issues over here. So now I have placed the grid perfectly aligned to the ground and you can see the track still has some issues, which means our camera saw was not that great. I'm going to delete all these things. Let's try one more technique. I'm going to select this area, adjusting a little bit over here, turn on this option. Now we have masked all the other area except this part of the footage. So let's go to camera solve tab and let's clear this solve and make this as mask object and uh, click on solve. Again, the same issue, maybe select these things and align to ground. I'm not sure why it is not working. Looks like a very easy shot to track, but just try it straight ahead without adjusting all these properties. I think it's failed. Let's move on to the next footage. Let's do a playback. It has 161 frames, so quite long. I think this shot is going to be perfect for camera tracking. So let's try that out. I'm inside the camera solve tab and uh, let's click on the solve button. It's taking a little bit time. There we go. So the average error doesn't look great. It's more than five, but you can see the track is kind of okay. There are a few points sliding over here. Yeah, sometimes tracking is very unpredictable by default. And definitely that's why we have lots of properties to adjust here. And all these adjustments should be done based on the shots. I'm just trying the default camera solving option and not adjusting any properties. I don't think the camera solve worked, but let me try aligning the ground. Mm, it's not that bad, but if you take the average error value as your selection marker, I don't think I will be able to use this track. So let's move on to the next footage. I purposefully selected this shot because I just want to try out if, if Mocha's camera solving is that efficient. This shot is a very, very shitty shot because you can see all sorts of grain, film artifacts, even the camera motion looks like very shaky. So let's click on the solve button. Fingers crossed. Straight ahead, we got an error value of 2.86, which is 
not bad but i don't think the grid is sticking to the ground that means i don't think this is a great track but you can see there is a moving object here which definitely is not that great so let's do a quick mask for the car that area is completely masked so and go back to camera solve tab let's clear the solve i'm gonna click on solve button there is an error as well you see it's not that great because obviously you can see it's not that surprising the track failed there are genuine reasons for that but i'm just curious if i could try planner tracker for this shot and see if it is working so let's clear the solve and go back to track let's draw a layer over here all right so i would have masked this area as well first i'm gonna try planner tracker click on perspective let's do a quick track adjust the surface let's play and check not bad but obviously it's not a great 3d track so yeah let's delete this stuff try masking all these objects try camera solving again i'm gonna turn this option off i think there are reflections as well so let's mask only this area just don't want to go outside the actual footage now let's go to the first frame looks like everything aligns perfectly going into the last frame kind of okay let's click on invert go to camera solve tab before that just make this mask object and click on solve obviously it failed again so mm -hmm. i'm gonna move on to the next footage this is by far the trickiest footage i'm gonna do playback and show you how scary the shot is going to be for camera solving all right lots and lots of parallax even the focal length is a bit weird i don't think there is a possibility of getting a good camera track by default settings let's give it a try i'm gonna click on solve because I don't see any moving objects in the shot. So clicking on saw. Average error is not that bad. So let's do a playback and see. And also the grid placement is perfect. I think it's working perfectly. I'm not able to see that much sliding happening. Looks like camera solve for this shot is working perfectly. It was a great surprise for sure, but uh, let's move on to the next footage. A very tricky shot there is a defocused object in the foreground and it has its own perspective as well and also there is a fire pit which definitely we need to mask it out so i'm gonna draw a shape around this area to mask that fire uh let's go into the last frame looks like i have a mask for that fire pit i'm gonna leave this fg object as it is i don't think it's going to affect the tracking that much I'm not sure let's try it out so go to camera solve tab and click on solve I did a mistake so let's click on clear solve i forgot to change the properties here so now let's click on solve average error looks perfect 0.4 which is great i feel tracking is working perfectly maybe i will just few points over here this is obviously not ground but i'm gonna click this as ground so with this you can consider the grid as the background wall and it sticks there perfectly so i think this track is working really really great and we can use this in our work for sure so let's move on to the next footage you can see this shot is a very very tricky shot because there are two characters which is covering most of the area in the footage that will be a huge hindrance for tracking but i'm gonna use mask ml for masking both these characters so let's do that so i have a perfect mask for the characters so let's go to the camera solve tab and make sure you have selected this option and click on solve perfect average error is 0.54 which is great let's do a playback and check looks like i have a perfect track here maybe i'm gonna select few points here and let's click on this button now if i do playback you can see i think the track sticks perfectly well for this one i certainly feel that there is a slight but again with very minimal adjustments with the settings this is magical so let's move on to the next footage I don't see there is a possibility of mocha tracking this shot because obviously you can see there is motion blur, there is rolling shutter and even the lighting changes makes it very difficult for mocha to do camera solve but again I'm not sure so let's give it a try. Maybe I can mask these characters later but I'm not sure if I have to do that because those characters are not moving at all. So let's solve this shot. Click on solve. As I thought, it's a very complex shot and Mocha just shown me an error. So I'm going to close this option and do a playback. Yeah, mm -hmm. obviously the track failed because there are a lot of lighting changes. I think even tracking manually this shot is going to be very difficult. So let's move on to the next one. Let's do a playback. 
so there are few moving objects in this shot we have two tuk tuk in this one we call auto rickshaw in india and also there are few characters standing over here there are few cars and vehicles coming from the background there is a character walking here this shot is a pretty difficult one for camera tracking but let's give it a try before doing any kind of masking i'm gonna give it a try solving this shot and see what it gives me Obviously it failed because you know the reasons right. So first thing I can do is masking this vehicle. Let's click on object mask. Cool. So now I have mask for all the moving objects in the foreground. Even though you can see there are a few moving objects in the background which I'm gonna leave it as it is. Let's turn on the masking properties for these two layers. Click on solve. Alright. It's way better than the last time. Now the average error is 1.54 which is a lot better. And also you can see the grid is moving perfectly along with the camera motion. One thing I can do is simply select these few points and click on align to ground. Let's do a playback. Wow. This looks so great and i guess if we adjust this properties a little more we will be able to get a better track than this one just spending like maybe 10 15 times on a shot and your track is done huge relief right yeah let's move on to the next shot all right this is going to be another nightmare for mocha lots of light flickerings and lots of reflections straight ahead i'm just gonna click on solve button average error is not that bad let's do a playback hmm that's great this looks kind of okay for me. Select these few points and set align to ground. Oops, these points are in different plane I believe. Maybe select these few points and click on align to ground. I'm not sure why this is happening. I just selected three points here and if I click on align to ground, nothing is happening here. I'm not sure if I'm doing any mistake over here or if there is a glitch in the software. I have a strong feeling that this track is working kind of okay. If we try to alter these properties, do some masking, we will get a better result for sure. So let's move on to the final shot. <laughs> I purposefully selected this shot just to check how efficient track tracking algorithm of Mocha is. Let's try that with the shot. <laughs> Let's click on solve. As I mentioned, this is a very complex shot. If I have to track this one, I might need to mask all these cars, maybe mask this separate section. But I have seen many tutorials of Mocha. I think there is an interesting way to solve this issue. Let's go to the track tab. I'm gonna draw a few splines over here. Maybe one more spline here. Maybe one more spline over here. This is fine. And now let's do planner track for this one. I also made sure perspective is checked on. Let's track and see how it goes. Looks like I have a pretty decent planner track for that area. Now if I go to camera solve, make that as a mask object. Let's click on invert. Hopefully we'll get a better result. Average error looks way better, 0.44. I think we just solved this shot. Let's select few points over here, align to ground. You can see we have a perfect camera for this shot. This technique can help us fine tune or get a better camera track in complex shots like this. I hope this exercise helped you to understand which are some of the shots best made for tracking inside Mocha and which are not. I see you in next tutorial. Till that, it's Manu signing off. Thank you for watching.